In this video, I will explain you the controls of the manager panel for an affiliated store. When you log into your website with your credentials, it will redirect to the dashboard page of your website manager panel. The first link on your left side menu is Dashboard. On the top, you will see these tabs categorized in past 24 hour, past week, past month, past year, and all time. Clicking on each tabs will make changes in the numbers and graphs for different information like numbers of orders, quotes, sales, commission you earn, you will also have data collection of your website for search engine optimization, like number of visitors on your website, then keywords and refers from different links, such as from Google search. You can also check on the numbers of the decorated products added to your website. Below this, you have a section for a quick reference regarding the orders placed or pending or completed and shipped on your website. On this page, the last section is for quick links for more admin stuff that I will go over from the left menu. The second option in the left menu is edit website. Clicking on this will open a sub menu. The first in this sub menu is website pages. Clicking on it will take you to the website builder and editor. I will go over on how to use the website builder in a separate video. To go back to store manager menu, click on three lines icon on top left and the menu will appear. The next option in this sub menu is customize template CSS and customize templated HTML. These two options are only for website building experts who is a certified web developer and have thorough knowledge of HTML and CSS. You can create or edit your online store completely from scratch and the way you like. I do not recommend to anyone to play around with these two options if you do not have knowledge of these languages. The last option in this submenu is Previously Published. Under this link you will find the versions of your website. In case if you want to restore the previous version of your website due to any reason, like you did not like the changes you made and want to restore the previous version of your website, you browse through the saved version and click Restore. The next option in the main menu is Store Designs. Here you will find all the designs or artwork that you have created and uploaded. I will explain how to upload your designs and artwork in a separate video. The next option is Decorated Products. Here you will find all the decorated products that you have created. On this page, you will find the option of adding a new decorated product and also you can manage the decorated product that is already added. You can sort the decorated product by clicking on the sort slash categorize button. Hovering over these buttons will guide you on how to sort the products. Click and hold on this six dots button and drag it up or down to place it on your desired place. Then save. You will get confirmation of sorting saved. Next option is orders. You will find all the orders place on your website here. Right now there are no orders because this website is only for the demo purpose and not publish. There is a separate video about this topic in video library. In the customer option, as it is named, you will find all the customers of your website who have purchased products from your website. 
You can view their details here, and also able to change the password from here, if you require to. The customers can change their own password by going to their account profile, or if they forget the password, they can click on the Forget Password link to create new password. There are some general pricing setting under the Price Setting option. If you do not want the website user to purchase from your website, but they can only ask for the quotation of the decorated products, you will need to check this box. Leaving this box unchecked will allow all the website users to purchase the products normally from your web store. This box is checked by default as all the affiliated store owner get the 40% commission on the retail price set by the Coyote t-shirts. For example, if the Coyote t-shirts have set price for a product $10, and the DTG print price is set for $20, the total of the decorated product with one DTG print on it is $30. So the set decorated product price is $30. An affiliated store owner will get 40% discount, so from the sale of $30, the store owner will earn $12 as 40% commission. That means, Coyote T-Shirts is selling this $30 product to you for $18. So $12, which is your 40% commission, is 66.66% .66 markup of $18. Now, if you want to make this markup to 100%, you will be earning 50% of the sale price. I can explain this under the Decorated Product Cost section. Let's keep this to 66.66% for now, and let's go to Decorated Products section, and open a Decorated Product, and go to Cost section. As earlier explained, the wholesale price you get for a $30 product is $18. With the default markup of 66.66%, you will earn $12. Now let's go back to the price setting and change the markup to 100% and it will show you that you will earn 50% of the price. Save the setting and go back to the e-cost section of the decorated product. Here you will see the markup is now 100%. That means you will earn 100% of the wholesale price of this product. So your website will sell this product for $36 for you to make 50% commission. In other words, for you to make 100% markup. Let's go back to price setting. This option will allow you to set the fixed price as markup instead of the percentage. The Coyote t-shirts have set the price to round up to 1 cent, but you can change to your preferness by typing your desired number and then check this box. This option will allow you to change the way the price show up on your web store. The next option is also your own preference, whether to allow your customers have discounts on the markup you created. The next option in the menu is domain setting and you will find the detailed video in our video library. Next is SEO tools setting that has a sub menu. In this sub menu you have the keywords and metadata. Here you can add the search keywords and meta description that will be shown on the search engine page. You can find more information on meta description and meta keywords on Google. This is very important in marketing your website. All the option in this submenu is very important in marketing your website and having appear in the search engine, such as Google or Facebook Pixel. To work in this section, you need to have good knowledge about the search engine optimization and advertising. I highly recommend to consult a marketing professional to help you set up this section. The next item in the menu is Marketing and Sales Tool. There is another submenu for this item. The first item is MailChimp Integration. Check this box to integrate your MailChimp account once you integrate your MailChimp account. 
you will have the statistics of the MailChimp account here. Here is the information on how to find the API integration key in your MailChimp account to get it connected here. The next two submenus are for a web developer expert. So, to use these submenus, you have to have deep knowledge of HTML and CSS. Under these two submenus, you can change the appearance of the products display on your online store. And you can connect these products to your external website if you have one. Please consult your web developer to work on these tools. In the gift certificate area, you can allow or disallow your web store user to use the gift certificate. If you wish to distribute some gift certificates, you will need to contact Coyote T-shirts via email or phone and create slash purchase the gift certificates that the users can use on the web store. In this submenu, you will have a statistic of the top five decorated products on your web store based on how many times they have been purchased or been browsed. Under the export newsletter address, you can create and export the CSV file of the email address of all the customers that received the newsletter via MailChimp. This is an additional feature to collect and export the contact data of the customers you have been in touch with. You may have more control over creating and exporting the CSV sheet from the MailChimp account. The Visitor Statistics is a tool that collects and shows the data of your web store for marketing follow-up purposes. This area is very similar to Google Analytic. Once again, this area is for the marketing professionals. If you need to know more about how this analytics works, there are very good videos made and posted on YouTube. Next is Designer Setting. In the designer settings, you can set the designer to be available on your website for the users to be used or not. This is the online customizer tool that a user can use to customize the blank product available on your website. If you wish to sell only the decorated products that are decorated with your own artwork, such as your painting or your own quotes, it is recommended that you turn this tool off for customers use. In the Font Manager tool, you will find all the fonts that are available for you and your web store user to use while decorating the products. Once this page loads, you will see that there are so many fonts already installed on the server for your usage. If you have your own preferred fonts that are not available on the server or any fonts that you have purchased to create your own artwork, you have option to upload here and use to decorate your way. Check this box first and then click on the Upload Custom Fonts. We also have a huge collection of the embroidery fonts that you can use to decorate the products your way. These fonts will give the realistic stitch appearance on the decorated product on your web store. You don't have option to upload additional embroidery fonts. If you have your own purchased fonts, that need to be converted to the embroidery fonts, you will need to contact Coyote T-Shirts. In the store configuration, there are few more options for you to control your web store. Select blank product option will give you freedom of selecting the blank products to be available for you to decorate and sell on your website. These are all the products that Coyote T-Shirts offers their customers and all affiliated stores. You can check the top box if you want all these products to be available to decorate and sell or to be available for your web store user to select and customize their way. Check this top box here to have all the products available. The default selected products are the most commonly sold products in the market. For the description of the products, when your customers select any of the available products and start customizing, the description of the products are available for them to select the correct product for them, such as 100% cotton or 100% polyester, 
or if it is a blend of cotton and polyester, how heavy the material will be. These information is also available for the decorated products that are pre-decorated by you. In the customer option, there are some default selections made by the Coyote t-shirts. You can modify these options your way by checking this box. 404 redirects will give you the option to redirect your website user to the 404 error page. This can be used when you have any of the pages on your website that needs repair done. Your web developer will explain you more about this. You have an option to make your website to be scanned by Norton Antivirus Provider. In order to activate this option, you have to have service purchased from Norton Safe Web. In the notification R, you can select or unselect the notification for new order or store signup. In the correspondence logo, you can upload your own company logo. Check this box and upload your own logo. This logo will appear on all correspondence from your web store. Close the store option is mainly for those who run the charity sales for certain periods of time. You can schedule the opening and closing of the store here. Under the commission, review will show you how much of the total amount have earned as commission, have already paid, how much have cleared, and how much have held. You can sort this by different time frames. If you have PayPal account, you can enter the PayPal account email address here, and the Coyote t-shirts will pay you via PayPal directly. And in the last option of the menu, you find the total transactions of the commission have been paid to you.